Good evening, everybody. First off, I want to thank the 400 people that voted for me. Yeah, I know what the numbers say, but I know something you don't know, and I'm going to keep it under my hat until I'm under oath in a court of law. Um, notwithstanding that, what you have is a police officer that is violating his oath of office, and he's trying to conceal evidence of a criminal act that he tried to commit against me. Not only did he do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me close the closet here. I'm sorry. This is the one that um, Troy and Williams came out of. I, they came out earlier, so, you know. I gotta close that door. All right. Now that the jokes are over, I have recorded statements from Jan Pitsy, Walter Porter, and a slew of other individuals during this particular election. Statements that I will be using at the time of Rule 34, which is an evidentiary hearing, into what will be one of the most funniest things to ever happen to this district since I moved here. I now have compiled enough information to know three things that Mr. Stinson did. One, they were getting ready to file suit against me by this district. That's a fact. I can prove it. Two, I know for a fact that there was an injunction getting ready to be filed against me by this district, and I can prove it. Three, I have a copy of the Court of Public Opinion that was done by uh, Daniel Cole and the lawyer that's currently here, which um, both are going to be leaving. I can't tell you the particulars. It wouldn't be fair to the world, but you guys have outlived your usefulness here, and Troy can't help you. That I can back up. Not right now, though. That's coming. All right, and for the last one, the statements made by Mr. Stinson were specifically done in order to defeat me in an election and have you not like me. That was specifically done. Troy cannot get out of what he did. Okay, him and his wife violated First Amendment rights of myself and my wife on a website, so you wouldn't listen to me. And I really had no way of getting into an argument over it. Then his neighbor... The one that lives across the street with him that wanted to fight me, by the way, anytime, anywhere, any place, because sometime we're going to have to meet up at the gym and it's going to be a very uncomfortable situation for you. See, I don't mind getting my ass kicked, okay? But I've never lost a second fight in my life, ever. Now, on to the good stuff. So that we're clear on something, when a police officer violates his code of conduct in the numerous times that I now have documented, I found out they took down the videos from the website, okay, that's evidence. They're not going anywhere, all right? They have to keep them, that's the law. So don't go anywhere. Now, I'm gonna tell you something you didn't know and a lot of people here don't understand this. I can't help it if John Martin is sucking Troy's ass. That everybody can see. That's a clear indication of whatever's going on in that little triangle I don't wanna be a part of. The Erickson story is a little bit different. Fran French asked Mr. Erickson to run. And that was because, well, everybody wants a rec center. That's the truth of this. This was about the nots versus the haves. So we'll get stuck with a rec center. We'll move on from that. But the biggest story that wasn't told in this election was one police officer's attempt to conceal the truth from you. Troy Stinson just slowed down the truth train. That's all there is to it. What am I getting ready to do? Well, Mr. Stenson, we're going to have an evidentiary hearing. We're going to have a discussion about public records, and you won't win. I have very good faith in the judges down here at the Fourth Judicial District that when I start asking for those records that you refuse to give me unredacted, you're not going to fare well. Why? Because you're a crooked cop. You're a dirty cop, and you're a bad cop. I've met great cops. I'm not going to tell you their names, and they're really nice folks. I've actually talked to a few of them, even after the election was over, and they said, you're just not a good human being, and what you did was show everybody you're not a good cop, all right? Then you held stuff over people's heads. I won't do that. Never do. There's no reason to do it. Then you got all these people to tell me that they want you gone, and it was a lot of them, and I have them tape recorded. You know I record the calls, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you a chance because everybody says a recall against you won't work. I don't think so. I think that when I get done telling everybody in this district what you did, including violating your general orders 11 times, regardless of what Sergeant Jelt says to me, if he doesn't do his job, then I know we've got a serious corruption problem at CSPD. And then that is going to be considered evidentiary evidence that I can use. Why? It wasn't the first time you had a complaint filed against you. It won't be the first time that I know of that someone's posted a video, but it will be the first time that a jury gets to see who you really are. Because I got my videos. 
and I got the Sherry Ring and Tapes, baby, and you know it. You can have them. I don't mind. You want them? You can have them. I told you right here. Then you stated, you told everybody I was trying to extort the district. Okay, let's consider it extortion. Okay, I'm going to extort you for calling me a liar, for calling me a criminal, for saying I did things I never did, for trying to conceal the evidence in, in, in what would apparently be some crimes you committed as an elected official, and not only that, not giving me access to financial legal public records to conceal evidence that a crime may have been committed. That's what you did, right? Then you tried to dissolve an entity right in front of everybody's face to cover up what was going on, specifically money. You have concealed all of the financial information this district has ever since you got on because you don't want to turn it over. I'm not the bad cop, Troy. I'm not the one running around telling everybody I'm a great guy. I know I'm an asshole. The difference is I'm an asshole for the people. I'm an asshole for, for freedom and liberty and everything else. So I sent Jerry Jacobson an email telling him I was tired of what you guys were doing, which was posting false information about me, claiming I committed criminal acts I didn't do, and then I now have the testimony of three ex-board members and two people that will be more than happy to testify on my behalf. And there's no way that your boy Edward Bendelow can stop them from testifying for me. The statements I made about the dossier were true. The statements I made about the claims that you guys claimed were false are true. The information gathered by Endo Bendelow, 100% accurate. That entire document was meant to smear me, smear my family, and hurt me. That's it. And not only that, Troy, how fucking dare you screw up my medical records, you little dick. That's a fact. So to the chief of police, you better get your head screwed on straight and start looking at what I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, like I'm telling the whole world, you got a serious situation on your hands with a police officer who is willing to use people and hold things over their head. I gave you a list of individuals you can talk to. Why would I do that? And why would all these people suddenly want to talk to me? Jan Pitsy, let me make this real clear to you. You will talk. And you will tell the truth or else I'll let those recordings go. And then we're going to find out who's really telling the truth and who's really trying not to. I told everybody then what I'm telling you now. Everything that you've seen in the last seven years was specifically set up against me, including the boards, the elected officials, the staff, the mistreatment, the false allegations, and you name it. I have all of their attention and I have all of them telling me that should I need them in a court of law, right over there, Troy, because I know where it is, they're happy to talk. So right after I get done scoring some stuff away at home, if you think for a minute, Mr. Stinson, you're going to beat me, you, 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 got a better, you got a better shot at, um, uh, let me think of a good euphemism here that I can use. Uh, you got a better shot at becoming president of the United States than you do at beating me. The one thing you didn't learn, Troy, is the reason I kept my records wasn't for extortion purposes. It was to prevent you, or at least prevent you from winning a lawsuit against me, which you already told everybody you were getting ready to do. Okay? Now that I know that I have an honest, truthful board member ready to go, that honest, truthful board member... If you harass her, you malign her, you threaten her, you do anything to her, I want you to call me, Stacy, any fucking time, day or night. And I mean fucking any. Do not let any of them tell you what you can't do. And that includes that fucking idiot, Jerry Jacobson, or any of the staff down there at that fucking office. Okay? Especially the fucking LePages. I'm tired of them fucking badmouthing me. If you got something to say to me, boy, don't spit in my food. Come and say it to my face, because I won't walk away. Special Forces doesn't mean shit to me. I grew up in a fucking place worse than Special Forces. I'm Mr. Pace. When the truth comes out and you find out what this district did, are you finally going to be mad, or are you just going to act like a bunch of fucking liberals not wanting to see the truth? What they did to me is worse than what the FBI did to our president. And that's what Troy Stinson's trying to cover up. So to the chief of police, you think I'm full of shit? Or do you want to start hearing some facts? Everybody else, get ready. 
I'm not done. I just had to take a little bit of a break. I got things to do. I still got a family to raise. My poor dog was sick. My little buddy couldn't let him get sick like that. We haven't had a puppy in I don't know how many years. And then when that's done, then I'm going to go deal with Michael LaCroix in his mouth. Okay? Because that needs to be dealt with. You don't get to talk to me like that, Mr. LaCroix. Bring yourself and your hip. I'll see you guys around. Get ready. I'm the real deal. I'm what a real American looks like when you stand up for liberty and freedom and everything else. Get ready. So, Troy, if you think you're going to win, think again. Everybody else have a good day.